Hello again. Uh, this is a, uh, another tutorial I ended up running through for Cat Like Coatings Flow Series. Um, this is the first in a series that uh, ended up uh, going through and doing floating liquid. Um, more or less uh, just making water, you know, to uh, and, and look like a flow and everything. I was actually uh, thrilled. I thought this was a uh, pretty cool one. Uh, steps you through. You can get the Unity package uh, somewhere on this, I think. Um, but uh, I ended up building this thing from scratch. He details it pretty well here. And just basically cut and paste code as I read through everything just to see what was going on with it. So this entails building a shader um, and also a couple uh, normal normals to uh, to build the project all together. Now one thing I did learn with this that I thought was really cool was this right here where you can set this flag right here always refresh in the debug environment or design environment within Unity and it'll actually play animations um, so anything that you've got on there you can actually see the animations live as they're working so I ended up taking the scene that he had originally um, or whoever did this tutorial, it could be a he or a she for all I know. And they had just basically a flat texture that they were using is pretty small. And I ended up more or less saying, hey, let's go ahead and see if I can build, you know, something that's a little bit more larger scale, see how this thing scales up. And uh, here is the texture that I ended up building. It's a shader, actually, uh, that I applied as a texture to uh, a material and that material is then tiled over here. Now, the end result, I ended up uh, going through and animating quite a bit. So I expanded the scale of it quite a bit. I applied it over a sphere. Um, I also experimented and played with some sounds too. It's something I haven't done with the community before. Had a little bit of fun trying to, you know, it didn't take much. It was actually pretty easy to get that to work. But hopefully the sound's coming through. I just did one video and it didn't come through. So, see that, but I think the water looks decent, it's not, it's not perfect, but it's definitely a great start, but from afar, it really looks pretty awesome. So as you can see, I expanded the texture quite a bit, just to actually test and play with scale, and I think this thing is tiled a 10 by 10 tile or something like that. So you can certainly see the patterns as you get further away. And that's one thing I would definitely be working on is, is seeing if I can get some of that to uh, the, the patterns that make it appear non-random to go away and everything. But as you can see, I've got clear edges on this, but as you move closer, it appears to go away. And I just love the way that it actually looks on this sphere. So it's really kind of a fun tutorial to play with for just uh, seeing overlapping uh, textures and basically adding noise to uh, to material to uh, to check out the ability to be able to you know create what appears to be something flowing like that, making it alive and appear like it's breathing. And of course, I've expanded the scale a bit to to make it appear like it's breathing. Man. So, anyways, that's about it. Oh, shit, as far as you can see. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed.